What is up everybody, Huang Zero here, and today I am bringing you a My Hero Academia trading card game video. Uh, this video we will be unboxing some of the newest set, Undaunted Raid, which features one of my favorite heroes, if not my favorite hero, Sun Eater. Uh, thanks to Jask, we were sent a couple of products. We were sent some starter decks featuring Overhaul and Mirio. We were sent an entire booster box, and then we were also sent a little pre-release kit. And so uh, we're going to open this up on the video. I'm really excited. Hopefully we pull some of the Sun Eater cards because I, uh, I don't know if I mentioned it yet, I love Sun Eater. The scene where he fights the, the trio of Stooges is absolutely peak. So uh, right before we get into the video, I do just want to take a quick little second to go over some stuff uh, from Jasco. Okay, and so if you go to the play.mhacardgame.com website, um, it's actually pretty nice because you have a couple of event finders. So you can go here, you can type in all of your different like locations and whatnot, and it'll show you to the nearest uh, locals that host My Hero events. So, and then uh, they have a loyalty brand system. So how the loyalty system ends up working is if you go log in, uh, you make an account, right? You just do all this sign up and whatnot, you can start earning loyalty points. And with the loyalty points that you earn from playing at different uh, events and whatnot, like those smaller locals will get you points, uh, playing at larger regionals and stuff will get you points. And they have a pack redeem redemption system that lets you send in pack wrappers um, directly back to Jasco. And for every pack wrapper you send, you get some points back as well. And uh, for a limited time, if you do all this information and you hit, how did you hear about us? And you put content creator, if you go ahead and put the best content creator, Huang Zero, uh, you will automatically get 50 points and those 50 points can immediately go towards redeeming some promos. So I think this is not only a great way to save on uh, paper, you know, save the environment and whatnot, but also it's really just cool to have a loyalty system. So yeah, uh, if you guys are interested, definitely check it out, use my name and get some free points, get some free cards. All right, cool. So let's get straight into the video. All right, everybody. So we're gonna get started with opening some of the product that we did get sent. I already opened the boxes, so that way we don't have to spend too much time opening them on the video. Um, this set does drop uh, today, actually, uh, the day the video is being recorded on June 30th. So um, if you're interested in playing the game, be sure to stop by your local game store and pick some product up. But without further ado, we're gonna get straight into the pre-release kit. Okay, so give me one sec, crack this open. Alrighty, and it also does come with a promo card, uh, Bright Future, featuring uh, Mirio and Deku. Bright Future, and so if you, TLDR, how the game works, is every card has like symbols, and based on the symbols, they have to match your character symbol, um, and so that way, leaders, they have three different symbols, and you can build a leader three different ways. Uh, you do checks, so you, when you play a card, you do this check, you reveal top card of your deck and send it to trash, and based on the check on the bottom right hand corner, um, if the check is greater or equal to the top left check that you make, then the card succeeds, and if not, uh, then the card will fail and you have to pay costs. It's, it's a lot of things, but the Bright Future card is really good actually, um, because it removes cards from your card pool, making it easier for you to play additional cards in the future, because uh, as you play cards in this game uh, during your turn, uh, Progressive difficulty makes it so that the next card you play becomes more difficult to actually succeed on. Uh, so Bright Future is a really great card in lowering, keeping the progressive difficulty lowered. And so going straight into our packs, I'm gonna go ahead, crack this wide open. Again, fingers crossed for Sun Eater support. Uh, Sun Eater does have a Seeker Rare in this set, uh, Manifest, which is basically just him manifesting his quirk. Uh, so here we have a foundation, and foundations are basically just mana with uh, special abilities. We have uh, your attacks, and attacks they have attack and speed, uh, oh damage and speed rather, it's similar to a fighting game, so speed is how difficult the attack is to block, and if you look at it, it has zones, just like a fighting game, so high, low, mid, and the damage that it deals to your opponent, so you have more foundations. And then, oh, I do see a little bit of a spoiler. But yeah, and then we have a uh, ally, so a little bit of a supporter. And then we did pull the Nejiri Wave as well as Fat Gum. So I know a lot of people are a huge fan of Fat Gum, uh, being one of those, the main characters from the uh, raid arc with Kirishima. And then we did pull a uh, rare for uh, Nejire. Uh, this is a really powerful card that makes, it, it ramps up in damage the more that your opponent actually decides to try and block you out. So a uh, really good card right there. I'm gonna put that over here. I'll separate all of the uh, foils uh, from everything else. But So again, fingers crossed on Sun Eater, right? Okay, so we have foundations, some attacks, uh, more foundations, a Sun Eater card, adaptable. Uh, this card gives you some additional speed based on your momentum, and momentum is equal to your fighting game special meter in this. 
Uh, we have Larceny, so this is the ability to you know steal the items. More Sun Eater cards, never can go wrong with that. And then uh, we got the ultra rare Deadbolt, actually, as well as Mimic. Uh, Mimic was one of the characters that was featured with Overhaul, and Deadbolt is a card from, I believe, Lock Lock. And it's, the gimmick of this is you basically just uh, lock out your opponent, right? You turn off their cards. So, next pack. Let's see here. All right. So, lock, yeah, Lockdown, Knockdown, uh, Crystal Sword Cutter, Heroic Assistance, uh, Lust for Battle, uh, Foresight, Fusilade. And if you notice, so historically, this game has a lot of art straight from the anime, uh, but it does have a couple of original arts as well, which I think is really cool. So Crystal Clear, Trusted Assistant, which this is an original art, I believe, featuring uh, Chrono and Airy. And then uh, <laughs> we pulled Chronostasis and then the Hollow XR, uh, Soramitsu Tabe. So yeah, uh, character cards can come uh, in foil and non-foil. So, I guess if we want to play Tabe, now we can pimp it out a little bit. Uh, Flurry of Punches, Riku Agency Trainees, the Fat Grapple, ah uh, yes, my goat. Energy Suction, Red Riot's the coolest. Look at this. It would be it would be a uh, Denki card. Uh, maximum Hardening, Takoyaki, the Strength of a Pro, Inverted Knife Throw, and uh, Kendo Rapa. Okay. Almost done with our pre-release packs, and then we'll get on to the rest of it. So, let's see what we crack open in this one. We have Hard Razor Slash. Apparently, this is a hero that was in part of the raid. I don't actually remember him. I think he got like a second of screen time. But Best Boy, Self Doubt, My Goat, Foresight, Centicoil, Supported Friends. This is actually really cute. Same. Uh, Nedjiri of the Big Three, Locked Up. This is original art. No time to waste. Knuckle Sandwich. Fat Absorption and Fat Gum again. And then uh, last pack of our re-release. So we have the Hardened Fist, uh, Practical Studies, Crystal Sword Cutter, Tentacle Grass, my goat, uh, Resigned, Larceny, Bubble Distraction, and Bubble Girl is a promo, so you can pick her up from the website, I believe. Um, we became more. Uh, Sun Meteor of the Big Three, Meteor, Ferret Skies, and uh, Kirishima, actually. So this is, uh, first of all, this is an ultra rare. Okay, that's super dope right off the bat right there. Put that over there. And then uh, this Kirishima, this is the one from the raid arc. This is where he becomes a uh, Red Riot. So yeah, okay. So those are our pre-release packs, and you get a little thing that tells you more about the game. So yeah, overall, we actually, what, is that... Uh, so two two URs and a hollow character. Not too shabby, actually. So go ahead, put that to the side. And then we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna open up uh, between Mirio and Overhaul. Which one do we open first? All right, I have I have a dice for this. I, mean, I, have a, I have a dice. So we'll do evens is Overhaul, odds is Mirio. So uh, it's even. So we'll go ahead, uh, we'll do uh, Overhaul. So overhaul, if you guys don't know, his entire gimmick is like deconstruction and reconstruction, right? So he was able to break things down and then build it right back up. And this uh, this game does a really fantastic job uh, utilizing those quirks into card game form. So obviously it comes with a playmat as well as a little uh, thing you can sign, uh, scan rather for the tutorial. And then it comes with the deck. So crack that open. See? And so in the deck, it comes with your leader. We have Overhaul, it is holographic too. Now, Overhaul is a six-hander with 27 life. Uh, so basically what this means is you can have a maximum of six cards in your hand, and at the start of your turn, you always go to your maximum, and he has 27 health. Um, and generally speaking, it's an inverse relation. So the higher your hand size, the lower your HP, and vice versa, the more health you have, the lower your hand size. There are three different symbols that he has. So you can play Overhaul in um, Earth, uh, I believe this is evil, and then this is life, and then he, they have their own effects, um, and the effects are very unique to the character. So, for example, his first ability allows him to build a card um, from your hand face down. So again, that's the construction portion, and then uh, his response: you can flip one of those cards, uh, flip a foundation, and after the block step of your attack, it gets plus two damage. If it deals damage, heal one, and then uh, his second, third ability allows you to play. Uh, cards from your hand, or from your stage, uh, from your stage down 
uh, and in doing so uh, lets you gain some additional value. And so we do see uh, two Heart and Claw Crusher. So this is a attack card. It's a speed of three, uh, damage of six, and it does stun one, so it taps out one of your opponent's resources. And for your opponent's a block, um, that does require them to make the success check as well. And if they fail to make the success check, they can tap their uh, foundations or their lands, um, but by stunning it, you tap it preemptively so that way they can't do it, then you know they're tapped out. And so the entire gimmick of the overhaul deck is basically you're just looking to try and maximize the amount of value you generate by building free resources um, as well as deconstructing your own resources in order to rebuild new resources so it's all about uh, looping that gameplay so we do have those double hardened claw crushes the monstrous ferocity okay monster dash monster fusion this is like the one scene when he's against deku uh with airy uh the overhaul assault and this is original art as well so that's really really cool um and cards can go to a maximum of four in this game reconstructed wrecker slap mr compress that's that's just that's just rude stalagmite piercer tremor eruption both of these original arts uh converting captured pieces okay cooperation offer and there's a mimic in the background uh, experimenting on quirks, hand a confession, loving father, Jesus, uh, reconstruction, <laughs> serum bullets, and taking the gloves off. So, yeah, that's overhaul. Um, overhaul is likely going to be a tier one character actually uh, going forward, just because of his gameplay loop is really good. Being able to create free resource, create free resources, and uh, redistribute those free resources. So, overhaul is going to be a really really good deck. And then we do have Mirio. So give me one sec, guys. So, oops. So Mirio is very akin, once again, to his Quirk in the Show. I mean, if I can just get this out. Yeah. It's very akin to qu the Quirk in the Show. Uh, so his entire gimmick is... Let me get that out of the way. He basically changes how he hits your opponent. So, like in the show, where he's able to phase through uh, objects and whatnot, Mario in the game can change how he approaches your opponent. So, he has much higher health than overhaul, um, and his gimmick is he changes the zone of his attack. So, when you swing with a high, your opponent can block with a high or a mid. If they block with the same zone, it's no damage taken if it blocks successfully. If it's an adjacent zone, it's half, and you cannot block with the zone too far away. So Mirio's gimmick is that he can change the zone of his attack. So if your opponent blocks, um, if your opponent has a bunch of high blocks, you can change your attack to a low block, thus making it uh, so you can get blocked out. Um, so that's Mirio's gimmick, right? So there is the infamous scene, the schoolyard smackdown. Uh, we, get do, we do get two copies of that. And this is when you change the zone of this attack, um, it gets plus speed, plus damage. Um, and it gets powerful too, so you can discard a momentum, which again is your fighting game, uh, your special move meter. And by doing so, for every one momentum you discard, it's plus two damage. So uh, making this very difficult to actually block. And then Mirio, um, his first skill gives you your punch and slams extra damage, and also changes their zone. So yeah, and he also has an ability that lets you discard a momentum, and if you do, um, you can reduce the damage you take to zero. So it's like him like phasing through. Okay, Lamillion of the Big Three. Banishing Repel Strike, the Flying Scissor Kick, and then Phantom Charge, Phantom Clothesline, Phantom Cross. <laughs> it's a lot of Phantom cards. Phantom Punch, <laughs> some more Repel Strikes, Combat Decisions. Which yeah, this is the most. This is this is pretty Mirio. Humble Hero, nice try. This card is crazy, by the way. Absolutely goaded card. Um, Permeation, Save a Million, haha, <laughs> La Million, the Big Three. Yeah, the card is really good unbelievable skill and unrivaled combatant so um, both the overhaul and mirio starter decks um, right out of the box are from what i know pretty solid um, so if you're looking to get into the my hero card game um, definitely these are two really great ways to get into the game so that's that's my suggestion they also have endeavor and eraser head as well as all might and um, all for one but with all that being said, we're going to jump straight into the exciting part of this video, the actual box opening. Let me, let me like, do the, do the thing. All right, there we go. So, I'm just going to put that to the side over here. Okay. 
So right out of the gate, let's see if we can hit that uh, Sun Eater secret rare. Um, but first, self doubt. The precision steel strike, fat grapple, red rights the coolest. Look at this, <laughs> Suntacoil, Takoyaki, strength of a pro, locked up, passing through walls and uh, Nejiri. So this obviously Lemillion support, um, and then we did get uh, Nejiri as a leader. And Nejiri's gimmick um, is that she lowers her own health in order to in increase her own damage or reduce her opponent's speed, um, but then she also heals. So it's kind of like, it kind of balances out. Okay. Uh, human Garbage, just like me. Uh, hardened Fist, Ryuku Agency's Trainees, Senta Coil, Nedry the Big Three, Keeping Aries Safe, uh, No Time to Waste, Bubble Distraction, Food, and Deadbolt. So again, uh, another UR copy, as well as another Nedry. So we have, we have a lot of Deadbolts today, huh? All right, go ahead. Again, human garbage, just like me. Uh, supported friend, <laughs> I have a couple of those, I said, right? Um, tentacle grass, no time to waste, knuckle sandwich, bubble distraction, calorie counter, and alongside a fat gum with his, uh, he becomes a spear. So fat gum's gimmick is that he, at a certain amount of life or at a certain uh, point in the game, he can uh, slim down into his uh, spear form and then uh, he deals some additional damage. So yeah, really cool. I almost put that as the rare. But yeah, I, again, this game does a really fantastic job with flavor. Also in these packs, there is a chrome rare. And what the chrome rare is, it's basically just like, an, like a super special rare alternative art kind of thing uh, for certain some of the secret rares, I believe. Or not saying but some of the URs. Uh, lockdown, knockdown, big appetite, single spiral, foresight, fusillade. Look at this. Piercing barrage, uh, the strength of a pro, crystallize, rewind smash. So this is Deki with the airy buff, fat absorption, and Shin Nemoto. Whoops. And yeah, Deku with the airy buff, uh, also known as Deku 4 in this game, is very good. Very, very, very good. Uh, foresight, flurry of punches, learning to harden. Resigned, Larceny, Plummeting Punch, We Become More, Sun Eater of the Big Three, Barrier Shield, Borrowed Goods, and, uh, oh, this is actually a UR. Uh, combo Enhance, your rival discards one, and then Enhance, your rival discards one momentum. If they did, add the top card of your deck to your momentum. Jeez, okay. Uh, that seems like a really good card, actually, being able to just interfere with your opponent. Um, Cards, cards in this game, your hand size, are obviously directly tied to the resources that you play out, to your attacks, um, but you also need your hand to guard. So having being able to force your opponent to discard one is really strong. Okay, Human Garbage, Heroic Assistance, Fat Grapple, Red Riot's the coolest, Vital Impact, Surprise Interception, Intense Stare, Bad Guy Round, oh hell yeah, wait, I'll skip everything. We got a Sun Eater UR, the Vast, Human, uh, Vast Hybrid Chimera Kraken. So I've been doing a lot of Sun Eater research. Um, this card, so Sun Eater's entire gimmick is that he really plays with the special fighting game meter, AKA your momentum. All of the cards from his support uh, go directly into your momentum, but they go face up and they activate while in the momentum. So this one, in momentum, once per turn, your attack gets plus two speed for free. Enhance, commit, and freeze a rival foundation. So you just uh, take out one of the resources and enhance commit a rival asset. So again, you're just you're just stunning out all the resources. This card is super sick. I love, God, I love Sun Eater, man. All right. If I pull the uh, the Chrome Rare for Sun Eater, I think I will cry. Confession, Single Spiral, uh, Heroic Assistance, Insatiable Appetite, Adaptable Surprise, uh, Surge, Red Counter, Quirk Resword, and the humble hero. Okay, so this is a foil version of the card we actually get from the starter deck, as well as uh, Quirk Restored. And that's like right after um, what should I call it? Aizawa, our racer head, uh, you know, stops, look, stops looking at them. They wake up. Learning to harden, season battler, precision steel strike, larceny, tentacle grass, resign, spiral wave surge. We became more. Crystal Crash, Chicken Kick, let's go. Okay, another Sun Eater card, and Nejiri Hado. Oh, and this card, uh, it has a speed of zero, but uh, it gets, you can, in momentum, it deals additional, it gives you a, a damage ramp, uh, stun one, so it takes, takes out one of your opponent's resources, and every time they pass on an enhance, it gets a plus one speed. So it gets faster and faster, the more uh, cards you have that let you in, uh, interact. 
So yeah, really, really cool concept. And then human garbage, big appetite, flurry of punches, supportive friend, vital impact, all might and sir night eye, facing danger, uh, surge, rewind throttle, and then we also pulled, uh, okay, so this is a rare, Rewind Throttle, so with Deku and Aerie. And we also pulled the Foil Rappa. So if you wanna play Rappa, uh, again, you can you can pimp that out a little bit. And Rappa's entire gimmick is you just wanna fight, constantly fight. Let's see, Season Battler, Heart and Fist, Self Doubt, Big Appetite, Deadly Fire, Keeping Yuri Safe, Takoyaki, I love Takoyaki by the way. We Became More, Stamp Out, Without Your Limits, and Sir Night Eye. Uh, and Night Eye's gimmick is uh, he basically seals your opponent's uh, cards, and then uh, you can discard the top card of your deck, discard the top three of your opponent's deck, and remove all non-attack cards doing this way. Your attacks get plus one speed for every five cards in your opponent's uh, removed pile. So yeah, Night Eye is all about just uh, milling out your opponent. Okay. Confession, Crystal Sword Cutter, Precision Steel Strike, Deadly Fire, Plummeting Punch, Surprise Interception, Knuckle Sandwich, Body Rejuvenation, Takoyaki, Counter Sweep. So this is a rare, and we did pull Sun Eater. So uh, Sun Eater, at the start of your end phase, you may add one attack from your card pool to your momentum face up. Uh, attacks that do not connect go to your trash. Attacks that do connect go to your momentum. So this is guaranteed to go in your momentum. Once per turn, the atta this attack gets plus damage or minus damage equal to the number of your face up momentum plus two. So again, super free value. And then uh, once per game, choose up to three your momentum. If they are face up, flip them, unflip them. So you can um, basically just turn uh, Turn your value, uh, one your once per turn value, turn off, turn back on, so you can reuse it again. Um, Sun Eater, he's a seven life, 20 hander, so he's a, or it's seven, seven hander, 20 life. So he's a, he has very little health compared to a lot of the characters in the game, um, but your hand size is massive. Prison Seal Strike, Human Garbage, Confession, Lust for Battle, Senta Coil, All Might and Sir Night Eye, Detailing the Plan, Looking for a Challenge. Uh, we did pull Aerie as well as Fat Gum. And Airy is a um, ally card. And so at the start of your end phase, ready one non-unique asset or foundation that was not ready during this turn's combat phase. Response, remove this card, discard a momentum before the damage depth of your rival's attack, reduce the damage to your current health, minus one. So Airy, uh, really, really powerful asset, uh, ally. And she's unique, so you can only have one on your board at a time. Because why would you want more than one Airy, right? Um, energy suction. Learning the Harden, Hardened Fist, Lust for Battle, uh, Foresight Fusilod, Adaptable, Barrier Shield, Facing Danger, Locked Up, Bubble Restraints, and uh, there we go. We did go ahead and pull the uh, Midoriya. Midoriya is 30 health, 5-hander. Your non-throw attacks with Fury or Punch gain powerful force. You can discard a momentum, gain 4 damage. You may discard one card from your hand in addition to momentum to pay for this attack's powerful ability. After your rival's combat phase begins, draw three and discard your printed hand size. So you're always um, basically playing with a full hand. The card, this card is absolutely cracked. Like they, 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 they kind of went all out for Midoriya. Not gonna lie. All right. Then we do have uh, that guy. Uh, Radical studies, single spiral, adaptable. Uh, vital Impact, Larceny, Body Rejuvenation, Point Blake Shot, uh, Intense Stare, Duplicate Deception Stab, and then uh, Kendall Rappa. So this is a UR that we did pull, and this is a throw slash weapon. So if it's a throw, it means it deals, uh, even if you block it, it still deals half damage. Um, this is your first attack this turn. Remove one random card from your rival's hand. After the attack resolves, add that card to their hand. Um, so basically you snipe a card from their hand that could potentially use to block. And then first enhance from your hand, uh, remove it and unflip one of your momentum. So actually really powerful card. I'd be interested to see if anything can really uh, abuse that. Just because sniping cards to block with, um, if your opponent is like planning to like, oh, I'm gonna hold this high block to deal with their high attacks and then whoop, oh, I guess I got sniped, haha, <laughs> tee Or I guess specifically in this case, low block, and then you snipe the low block. Fat Grapple, Season Brawler, Learning to Harden, Piercing Barrier, um, Red Riot's the coolest, Keeping Area Safe, Sloshed, <laughs> Maximal Hardening, Food, ah yes, me too, uh, and the Seal of Approval. So that's a Night Eye Rare. Okay. Go ahead. We're almost done with the box. So I'm still I'm still hold, holding out hope for a secret rare. Uh, training Agency, Foresight, Lockdown, Knockdown. Look at this. Plummeting Punch, Nedjuri, uh, Chan, 
uh, stamp out. Uh, we did pull an entry rare, uh, point blank, levitate. This is a uh, response once per turn. After you block with a foundation, draw one and discard one. Enhance, discard a momentum, discard cards from the top of your deck until you discard a foundation, add that to your hand. Sir Night Eye and Intense Stare. So this is a hollow copy of one of the uh, regular uh, regular uh, uncommons. Okay. Go ahead, let's see. Heroic Assistant, Practical Studies, uh, Single Spiral, Surprise Interception, Vital Impact, Red Riot's the coolest, Sun Eater of the Big Three, my goat, Detailing the Plan, The Strength of a Pro, Red Gauntlet, as well as Toya Setsuno. So this, and that's the, the Larceny guy, so he just you know pulls your uh, stuff straight off of you. Okay. Go ahead. Precision Steel Strike, Foresight, Single Spiral, Senta Coil, look at this, All Might and Sir Night Eye, Bad Guy Roundup, Crystallize, uh, Claw Stopper, Kendall Rappa, and this is our secret rare for the box, Chronostasis Trigger, okay? So Breaker 2, which means if you, um, I believe if you block with this card, your opponent's next check gets a minus two. Enhance, freeze a rival foundation. If this attack was played from a zone under other than your hand, also commit a rival foundation. Enhance, if you are on uh, evil, uh, change the zone of this attack. If this attack deals damage, seal your rival's character so you turn off their effects um, because it's the um, it's it's the airy gun, right? So this is our secret rare for the box. So we didn't pull the Sun Eater secret rare, but we did pull a pretty good one. So that's, that's you know it's okay. I'll, I'll I'll suffer and you know just buy my four copies of Manifest later on. All right, we did get Fat Grapple, Energy Suction, Heart Hair Razor Slash, Force, Foresight Fusilade, Deadly Fire, Surprise Interception, Strength of a Pro, Claw Stopper, Trusted Assistant. And we also pulled a Hollow Learning to Harden. Okay, down to the last few packs. Okay. Let's see if we can pull any good Deku four cards. Energy Suction, Lockdown, Knockdown, Crystal Sword Cutter, Insatiable Appetite, Red Rise the Coolest, Keeping Area Safe, Looking for a Challenge, Facing the Danger, Crystal Crash, a Bubble Restraint, and of course, The Goat, Sun Eater, my man. I think we have four packs left. Self-Doubt, Foresight, Hardened Fist, Lust for Battle, Tentacle Graft, All Might and Sir Night Eye, Point Blink Shot, Red Counter, Crystallize Rejuvenating Smash. So we did actually pull uh, a UR for Deku, actually. So EX3. So EX3 is uh, for, you can discard a momentum, gain that much speed, so gain three speed. After you play this card, if it is the second card you have played this turn, draw two, he gain heal two. So that's insane. Uh, enhance, if you have discarded a card during this enhanced step, add the top card of your deck to your momentum. Yeah, no, this card is cracked. This card is absolutely cracked. What the heck? Um, being able to not only replenish your health and hand size, um, but also getting free resources to play with. Nah, that card is insane. Like, what the heck? Alright, so not only do we pull Sun Eater, Ultra Rare, but we pull the Deku Ultra Rare, it's lit. Flurry of Punches, Training Agency, Vital uh, Supportive Friends, Nedgery, Rewind Smash, uh, Spiral Wave Surge, Locked Up, Nedgery Wave, and of course, Midoriya 4. All right, and we're down to the last two packs. Let's see if we can clutch this out with anything uh, else that's crazy. Self-doubt, Flurry of Punches, Confession, Piercing Barrage, Larceny, Insatiable Appetite, uh, Looking for a Challenge, Stamp Out, Maximum Hardening, Stopping for Breakfast. That's actually a UR, <laughs> and uh, I don't even know who this guy is. Where did you go? But Stopping for Breakfast. Uh, unique response, remove this card after your rival plays an ability on an action card, just cancel it out. All right, that's cool. Good job, Ida. I'm glad you stopped for breakfast. And the final pack. All right, good luck. Practical Studies, uh, Crystal Sword Cutter, Learning to Harden, Resigned, Pum Plummeting Punch, Adaptable, Sun Eater of the Big Three, Sloshed, Surge, Inverted Knife Throw, and Kirishima to finish off the box. Um, so yeah, so we didn't pull a the Secret Rare that we wanted specifically because we didn't pull the Sun Eater Secret Rare, but we did still pull a Secret Rare um, in the for the uh, Chrono Stasis. And then we also did pull, and uh, not only did we pull the Rejuvenating Smash, but also uh, we did pull a copy of Sun Eater's Ultra Rare, the uh, Vast Hybrid Chimera Kraken. So overall, I would say this is a pretty successful box. So 
thank you all so much for watching. This game is genuinely really, really, really fun. Like I said, um, go ahead, sign up for the uh, loyalty program uh, using uh, content creator Huang Zero as your code. Um, if you do, you get those extra points for some free promos. Uh, the, like I said, you can look for um, this game at your local card shops. They have a locator. And yeah, this set is currently out. Go pick it up, guys. This game is a ton of fun and there's so much. Um, like, I don't know, I'm just so excited because the next arc I'm pretty sure is the uh, the Hawks arc. So yeah, uh, thank you all so much for watching and peace out.